it's not always gonna be great. There's a new AI image editor that is blowing everybody's minds right now. You can pretty much give it an image, tell it to change that image in any way you want, and it's doing a way better job than even what GPT-40 was doing. Remember when all the Studio Ghibli stuff was going crazy? Yeah, this one seems even better than that. This could potentially even be a full-on replacement for Photoshop. You give it an image, you tell it what you want changed about the image, and it makes those changes, and it actually looks good. This thing is like the hottest thing on Twitter and Reddit right now. So hot right now. And I don't want to waste your time, so let's take a peek at what I'm talking about. The model goes by the code name Nano Banana, and it's not technically released or available publicly yet. In fact, no company has even claimed it's their model yet. Rumor has it that it's a new model out of Google, but I can't confirm that. This person claims here that you could find it in Google Studio, leading a lot of people to believe that it's Google, but as of right now, it's not in my Google AI Studio, so I don't no, maybe they've got an early access or something. But let's take a peek at some of what other people have created with this model because it's pretty mind blowing what you can do. And then I will show you a workaround so that you could go and use it right now if you want. It's a little wonky, but you can actually go and demo Nano Banana and you can do it for free. Let's take a look at some of these images from D Studio Project here. We can see this was the original base image. They claim they generated this original image in mid journey, but then here's their edits. So shot one, make them sitting on the billiard table. So you can see it put them sitting on a billiard table. And if you look at the faces, it looks like the same faces. It looks like the same outfits. Everything crosses over. For shot two, you can see that they actually used shot one as their image prompt. They used this image here as the initial image and they gave it the prompt, make them now playing billiards. One girl wants to shoot the ball. Another one is standing waiting her turn. And you can see the women look consistent. The outfits look consistent. There's some wonkiness on the pool table. I don't know why there's a pool cue there and the sort of rack there, but it kept the look consistent, the characters consistent, the outfits consistent, even the environment consistent where you can see there's a pool table here in this orientation and then one in the background in this orientation with these lamps, everything is consistent between the two different images. Here's another base image that they started with. Prompt, make them holding cocktail glasses. Now you can see it's the same three women in the same exact environment, all holding cocktail glasses. Change the girl in the middle to become a man like Tony Stark, Iron Man, and they hug him. And you can see they put an Iron Man, Tony Stark. Another example, change the lantern to a shotgun. She's no longer holding the lantern. She is holding a gun. Don't know if that really looks like a shotgun, but she is holding a gun. And then in shot two, the woman is no longer inside the barn, place her outdoors, sitting under a large tree in a forest clearing. She is holding the shotgun across her lap, carefully reloading shells into it with focused determination. But this is just scratching the surface. Here's some more examples from Cheta Slua. We could see two images here that clearly look like the exact same person in the same room, just different outfits and with glasses on one of them. Diego here found that you can do a really good job at colorizing images using this new Nano Banana model. Here's an original black and white photo. It's also got some like blurriness and some weird out of focus stuff and it just isn't a great quality image. And then when we take a peek at what Nano Banana did to it, everything kind of comes more clear. It added colors. Everything looks really, really good. I didn't even realize that this was a girl holding a balloon until I saw the Nano Banana image with color and I can make out what was going on. Here's another one of some ladies that look like they're standing out in like a cornfield. And here's the colorized version. Here's an older image that looks a little out of focus and just sort of dated with some extra little like dust or noise in the image here. And here's a cleaned up version that Nano Banana did. Crystal here used it to change the text on a billboard. She gave it like a billboard from Times Square or something. This was the original billboard. She gave it the prompt, change the billboard's words to, hi, I'm Crystal, I need more followers. Please follow my thing. And then her at name and then Krista Inc. And we can see the one on the left here is what Nano Banana generated. It filled in the text perfectly and replaced the original banner with her text. Flux One Context was also able to do it pretty well, but 
we can see that Nano Banana is capable of it. My friend Heather Cooper showed off that you can actually use it to blend two images together. She gave it these two photos that you can see up in the top right. This is Heather Cooper on the right here. I believe this is an AI generated image on the left, not 100% sure. Add the woman wearing sunglasses to the first picture behind the first woman as she shops and looks at clothes on the shopping rack side profile. And you can see side by side, here's what Nano Banana generated. This looks just like Heather Cooper in the background. And then the woman from this photo here is in the forefront. I found this really interesting as well. HBTT here says, they believe that Nano Banana makes 3D objects in terms of volume and then edits inside of that space. They show off in their images here that it was able to successfully put a grid just over the subject of this image. Here's another example where it put a skeleton within that grid. And here's another one where you can see the skeleton in the grid sort of better overlaid over the original image. But they're basically saying that they believe that this model is looking at the image, sort of mapping it out in 3D space to understand what's going on in the image, and then just tweaking the elements within the grid areas of what they want changed, which is really interesting. Now, I can't confirm this is how the model works. I will be talking to some people at the company that created this model pretty soon and get you more details on that. Have you ever wondered exactly which AI tools, strategies, and ROI frameworks the fastest growing startups are using right now, most founders are left guessing, but my audience is getting something nobody else has yet. Thanks to HubSpot for Startups, you're getting exclusive early access to part two of their AI at Go to Market Report 2025. Part one is already public, but part two isn't even out yet, and you're seeing it before anyone else. This section is packed with HubSpot's exclusive analysis of over 500 venture-backed startups, revealing the exact AI tools, implementation strategies, and ROI frameworks driving measurable go to market results. It's not theory, it's actionable real world insight you can apply today. You'll see how top performing startups structure their AI teams, where they're getting their biggest ROI and how they're scaling faster than ever. Sometimes hitting hundred million dollar ARR numbers with under 150 employees. So if you're serious about growth in 2025, grab this exclusive early access now through the link in the description and use it to benchmark your strategy against the best. Thanks so much to HubSpot for startups for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Now I mentioned there's a way to use it for free, but it is kind of wonky. And before I get into it, I do want to tell you, you should probably be very, very careful. There are websites out there claiming that they're nano banana. I even saw one that I think was at nanobanana.ai claiming that they're using this model. They're not, it's not available yet. The API is not available yet. They're lying to you. As far as I know, the only way to use this model is over on LM Arena, which you can find by going to lmarena.ai. If you're not familiar with LM Arena, basically it's a blind test leaderboard website. You give it a prompt, it gives you two responses from that prompt without telling you what model just gave you those two responses. You pick whether you like model A or model B best, and that is how the rankings on this leaderboard works. And they test pretty much everything. They've got a leaderboard for text models, which ones generate text the best. There's a web dev for coding models, and they also have image edit, which is what we're talking about right now. As you can see, the number one model is GPT image one. No mention of Nano Banana anywhere in this list. And that's because it's still in its initial testing phase and they're still collecting data before they can finally rank it on the leaderboard. So you're probably already starting to see where this is going. You can use Nano Banana, but it's going to come in one of those blind taste test prompts, right? So if you're on Ella Marina and you come up to the top left and click on new chat, and then under direct chat here, you have some options, battle side by side and direct chat. If we go to direct chat and I turn on generate images, is, you'll see that it gives me a drop down of image models that I can play with. Cool little life hack here. You can use all of these images for free right now in Ella Marina, but no nano banana. They do have this side by side comparison. This is designed to compare two models next to each other. But once again, nano banana isn't available here. They only made it available currently in the blind testing, which is why I said it's a little wonky. So the final option here is the battle option. You don't get to pick which models you use. It picks two and you have something like a 20% chance that one of them is going to be nano banana saying that because this is free to use, you can keep on generating 
until you get the image model that you actually want. Now, in order to make sure it's going to do an image edit and not do a text response, you do need to make sure generate images is turned on so it knows to use the image models. And then you're gonna give it an image to edit. So I'm gonna drop in this image that we made last week with the Mountain Dew River pizza buildings and Dorito mountains. We'll toss it in right here and we'll give it a prompt like add a surfer riding on the river. We'll submit it and you'll see it's actually generating two images, but it's not telling us which model each image is. We then get both options back and we have to choose left is better, right is better, both are bad or it's a tie. I would say both of these are pretty good here. I feel like I like right a little bit better because I feel like it matches the style of the rest of the image a little bit better. So I'll say right is better. And the funny thing is we actually got nano banana on the very first try. I just picked the one on the right was better, which was Quinn image edit, which is the other image editing model that just came out that is sort of blowing people's minds. They're both really, really good. But as you can see, we got an image out of nano banana right here on the left. It added our surfer into the image and we did this without needing Photoshop. It did exactly what it was supposed to. If I toss the same image back in and say, make it nighttime, we could submit that and we'll be real lucky if we get nano banana again the second time. Here's our two images. The left is almost too dark. It's hard to see. The right looks like dark nighttime, but with some lights on in the buildings, it knew to turn on the lights. So I would definitely say right is better. And this one was nano banana. So as you can see, I mean, it's fairly decent odds that you're going to get nano banana when you're doing image edits. And if you don't get nano banana, you just throw the image in throw your prompt in again, and you do it again until you actually get the model you want. Or, you know, worst case scenario, maybe you don't get Nano Banana, but you get the edit that you wanted. It just came from a different model. Ella Marina is really awesome and really powerful because not only can you use it for free and use almost any large language model you want, use any image generator that's in there, use all of the image editors that are in there, do it all completely for free, but you're also helping contribute to the AI community and helping them understand which models are currently the best by user standards. I've got this image here of a vampire and a wolf. Let's see if I can actually inject myself into this image in some way. So we'll go ahead and pull this image in to Ella Marina here, and then I'm gonna pull in a headshot. Just drag this one in as well, and you can see we've got two images. Add the man in the plaid shirt standing behind the wolf and the vampire. Let's see how well it does at sort of blending these images together. Again, the initial result may not be a nano banana result. All right, we got two back. Neither look great at all. This one was really horrible at following instructions. The one on the left put a man behind everything, but it doesn't really look like the same person. I would definitely say left is better. And this was seated at 3.0 and this one was Gemini 2.0 flash preview. So we didn't get nano banana, which makes sense because well, neither of them were great. And well, it took me a few more tries with some weird ones. I feel like Quinn image edit did a pretty decent job. I feel like it made me kind of look like John Wick a little bit, but it did a pretty good job. And then down here, when I finally got nano banana, here's what it did. It just made it look like a very bad Photoshop edit, but I did a get nano banana and this was my result. So just like any other AI image generator, it's not always gonna be great. Another thing I wanna try, I actually saw Matt Vid Pro do this in a video. He said it's really good at generating YouTube thumbnails. So I actually want to take this Mountain Dew image here. Let's go ahead and just copy the image, post it back into our prompt box. Also take my headshot, toss this in here and say, make a YouTube thumbnail about the uh, Mountain Dew River. And then I'll give it those two images and see if we can actually get it to generate something that looks like a decent thumbnail. Here's what it generated. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not the proper aspect ratio, but it did incorporate both images, the Mountain Dew image, my face, added some text, the legend of the Mountain Dew River, even put a little YouTube icon down in the bottom. For reference, here's what Gemini generated. What I like about Gemini though, is that it actually gave it the proper aspect ratio. But that's the new model, some examples of what it's capable of, the free resource that where you can go and generate it, albeit 
not the best way to generate images if you specifically want to use a model, but it's the only way we got right now. And most of the time, it's actually pretty good at its job. Just head on over to LM Arena. It helps both the AI community when you vote on stuff and also allows you to generate a lot of stuff for free. As far as when Nano Banana is available, I'm not quite sure yet, but I have it on pretty good authority that we'll get access to it pretty soon in a much easier to use interface, one that a lot of people are already probably using and one that I've talked a lot about on this channel in the past. But if you wanna get in early, you wanna be on the bleeding edge and be able to create images and edit images with pretty much the best model out there right now. This is how you can do it before the rest of the world gets their hands on it. And once this model gets really, really dialed in, you're gonna be able to do like almost anything you can do in Photoshop by just giving a few images and some text prompts of what you're looking for. So exciting new tool, exciting new thing that I wanted to show off and play around with a little bit and also give some insight into how you can play with it as well. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you like staying up to date with the latest AI news, the latest AI tools, and you want tutorials and demos and that sort of stuff. That's what I do on this channel. That's my main focus. I play with all the AI tools. I keep up with the latest AI news and I turn around and I share it back with you on these free videos a couple times a week. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel. It will make sure more stuff like this shows up in your YouTube feed. Thank you so much for hanging out and nerding out with me today. Really, really appreciate you. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for nerding out with me today. If you like videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I'll make sure more videos like this show up in your YouTube feed. And if you haven't already, check out futuretools.io where I share all the coolest AI tools and all the latest AI news. And there's an awesome free newsletter. Thanks again. Really appreciate you. See you in the next one.